The Rockford Ice Hawks conclude a three games and three day stretch with a Sunday afternoon matchup against the Grand Rapids Griffins. With just seven games remaining, the playoff push has certainly heated up and the Hogs are right in the thick of it. I'm Katie Florio here with your pregame breakdown presented by Roofers and Waterproofers Local 11. Rockford is looking to end the weekend on a high note after suffering back-to-back 3-0 losses to the Laval Rocket on Friday night and the Chicago Wolves last night. After going down 2-0 in the first period, head coach Anders Sorensen said the early deficit led to a lot of pressing. Well, the rough start to the game, right? We're down 2 nothing, and then when you're down 2 nothing, you're pressing, and similar to the game as yesterday when we are pressing, uh, we just didn't play with enough cohesiveness to score. Today is a new day, but the Griffins certainly won't be any less of a challenge. Despite sitting in last place in the Central Division, they've beaten the Ice Hogs the last three times they've faced each other. Let's take a deeper look into that head-to-head -head matchup. The series is very evenly split with both teams picking up three wins and three losses so far. The two teams last met on March 10th, which resulted in a 2-1 overtime win for the Griffins. One bright spot, however, has been Rockford's penalty kill against Grand Rapids. They've killed off 21 of 23 penalties against them, by far the best of any opponent. And heading into tonight, David Gust and Bobby Lynch lead the Hogs against them with six points each. Earlier today, I caught up with Ice Hogs captain Garrett Mitchell, who although has been out with injury, has been able to see each game from a different point of view this year. Here is his take. You know, guys going up and getting called up, that's that's always a positive thing, but at the same time it really uh, it really makes it tough for uh, you know, you know, for for a team to, to get things going and then you have the trade deadline and so I think we you know obviously we had a little bit of a lull there for a bit, but we've played some great hockey and I think we're kind of coming into it uh, coming down the stretch as well. Puck drop between the Hogs and Griffins is set for 4 p.m. And don't forget, tonight is also Pucks and Paws night, so we're looking forward to seeing you and all of your pups out here shortly. From the BMO Center, I'm Katie Florio.